हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू पाठक्स कंप्यूटर एकेडमी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कीज इन रिलेशनल डेटाबेस टुडे वी विल सी द इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट एस क्यू एल दट इज स्ट्रक्चर्ड क्वेरी लैंग्वेज सो the contents today we covered about the sql and then types of sql commands okay there we learn basic three types of commands that is ddl dml and dql other than this there are more types of commands like dcl and tcl but in your course only three of them have to be covered so moving on about the introduction so as we know that in a file system if you want to access data from the file you need to write a program for example in c language you have to write a program to fetch the data from the file however in dbms there is a special kind of programming language known as query language and that query language is used to access or manipulate data from the database and this query language is a standard defined by the a n s i american national standard institute in 1992 and that language is known as sql 92 and with the help of this sql major relational database management system software such as oracle mysql and many more are performing various functionalities such as accessing the data storing the data updating the data deleting the data with very efficient manner okay so i hope you understand why sql comes into an existence now i am going to try to discuss a little bit about sql so as we know that sql stands for structured query language or if you pronounced then it is called as sql sql means simple english query language s for simple e for english q u e for query and l for language and this language are used to access and manipulate data that are stored in the database as i have already told you that sql standard are defined by a n s i and that standard should be followed 
by all the DBMS software, those who wanted to be relational. Okay. So if anybody asks what is SQL, then you simply tell that SQL will teach us how to access and manipulate data in various database system. Okay. It means with the help of SQL, we are actually communicating with the database. So I hope you understand what is SQL. So here you can see that the benefit with the SQL is that we do not have to specify how to get the data from the database. We have not to worried about how to program to deal with the DBMS software. We have to simply specify what is to be fetched, what is to be fetched, what data we want. That's it. And rest are done by the SQL itself. But to do this, the syntax of the SQL, you have to be very clear. Okay. And that syntax we will cover in upcoming videos. Don't worry. Thus, SQL is an open language involving it is not owned or controlled by a single company. Okay. As Python is an open source programming language, just like that SQL is also an open language. Okay. Now I am going to discuss SQL commands. As we already know that SQL statements are designed to define the structure of the database, how to manipulate the data stored in the database, or if you want to apply some rules and regulation that can also be possible. And after that, how to retrieve the data in some particular way. All these can be achieved by the SQL. And all these functionality that I discussed here, based on different types of functionality, SQL divided their system into various sub system. And in that subsystem, three subsystems are more considerable that are data description, which means DDL, data access, which means DML, data manipulation language, and then privileges, who can access that data, who cannot how much data can be accessed, all are discussed in DCL, data control language. So I'm going to discuss each of them one by one. So first one is DDL. DDL stands for data definition language. So by the name of DDL, it is very simple to clarify that it is used to define the database. If you want to structure the database, how many tables are there in the database? What are the names of tables? How many columns are in the particular table? 
what are the types of data that can be stored in a particular column all are defined in ddl commands with the help of ddl commands some ddl commands are create drop alter we will discuss these commands later on second thing you have to be remember that ddl are auto committed as soon as you fire the command and that command is executed as soon as all the structured are saved permanently in the data base management system software okay so ddl are used to create tables or to create databases identify data items provide unique names to the data items that is column name define the length how much data or what is the capacity of the column for example name column can contain only 15 characters at a time provide the range of values i already discussed the domain domain means what for example there is a column marks so marks can be given from 0 to 100 so the range is between 0 and 100 we cannot give the negative values and we cannot provide marks more than 100 to any student so all these can be happened in ddl okay now dml as the name suggest all the commands are related to their manipulation of the data either updation of data or deletion of data or any other thing related to manipulation so some commands are insert command with the help of insert you can store data in the database update command with the help of update command you can change any data at any time and delete data delete data are used to remove the data from the database and in contrast with the ddl it is not auto committed you have to specifically write down the command commit to store the data or to insert the data or to update the data or to delete the data permanently if you did not commit the statement specifically data cannot permanently save in the database okay this is the difference between ddl and dml if anybody ask what is the difference between ddl and dml then there are basically two major difference ddl is for structuring the database while dml is used to deal with the data that are present in the database the second difference is that ddl is auto committed while dml is not auto committed clear now there is a specific language known as dql that is data query language some author write or say that select command is also the part of dml but some author says that it is not related to manipulation that's why select command 
basically used for fetching the data from the database. So it is not considered for manipulation. That's why only single command that is select are considered in another language or subsystem known as data query language. So DQL is used to fetch the data from the database. And to do this, you are using select statement. And with the help of select statement, whatever the result came, either you can display on the screen or you can use that data somewhere else or you can receive that data in front end. Okay. For example, if you are using IRCTC application. With the help of IRCTCT, you are checking that in a specific train, how many seats are available. So that data are stored in a centrally located database in IRCTC. And whenever you ask that query, based on that query, data are pop up in your front-end application. Okay. So internally, select command is executed. So that's all for today. In this chapter or in this topic, I am not considering about DCL, data control language, where grant and revoke command is used and I am not also discussing TCL commands that is transaction control language okay because these commands are out of the scope of your syllabus. So I hope you understand about the basic functionality of the SQL and based on that functionality, I will discuss my SQL software in the next lecture. Till then, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the session.